Hey Gemini, I'm here to do your love reading for the month of October 2019. I am doing your reading on the night of a full moon. Um, so the emotions lately, and I feel like this is going to be a theme for you throughout the month of October. Um, it's not that it's intense, it's that you are peeling away layers of yourself. And I'm seeing that in your spread as well. You are one of the only signs where the energy has been consistent for you for the past, I want to say, at least three months. Now, in your overall energy, Gemini, you have the Ace of Wands, and you have Journey on top of this. So if you've been around my channel for a while, if you've been listening to me for the last at least three months... Um, I've been speaking about Gemini going on a journey. I've been speaking about you um, entering into a new adventure or a new journey of your life, a new beginning for your life. The ultimate beginning in the tarot deck is the Ace of Wands. This is an action-oriented new beginning. This is like picking everything up physically and moving yourself to a different location or to a different level in your life altogether. For some of you, this is going to be more symbolic in the sense that you are growing, you're maturing, you are about to go into some kind of new arena of your life, so to speak. For others of you, again, I'm seeing that indicator here of a physical traveling card. Again, journey. This is a journey. This is on top of your Ace of Wands, physical new beginnings. And because this is a love reading, this is going to be um, symbolic also of someone who's stirring those romantic feelings for you in order to provide for this new beginning to take place. And this is something that is very, very passionate. This is like the only card out of your entire spread that is red. And by the way, in this particular deck, this goes by chakras. And this is your root chakra. So I feel like you are being um, triggered on kind of like a primal sexual level where this Ace of Wands is coming in for you in October. This is a new, either a new person or this is like a new beginning with someone that is going to be opening up the doors for you. And for some of you, this is going to be, again, involving travel, as we've been seeing for the past few months now. Now, it's important to recognize in a general reading, not everyone's going to have this delivered to you like some kind of package on like October 15th, where you're just going to all of a sudden, you know, meet someone and then run off to France or something. This is the energy around you. This is the energy that you are making for yourself, Gemini. So the timing's going to be different for each of you, but it's going to be the overall energy for you. And this has been coming up for you for multiple months now. This is spirit saying you're still on track, you're still going down this road, and this is going to happen for you. It's confirming what I've been seeing for the past, again, three months, if not longer. And I feel like a lot of you Geminis have been in the state of planning. So you're planning this out and I feel like the actual manifestation physically of this is going to be a variation of time frames for a lot of you. Just know that you're still on track and this is still showing up for you in the month of October. Um, and by the way, this can also be symbolic of what's to come for you for 2020 because 2020 is a year of stability. So for now, you are getting ready. It's almost like packing before the trip, you know, packing your suitcases and getting the tickets and boarding the plane. But the actual manifestation of you getting to your destination may be uh, a variable for a lot of you in a general reading, okay? The Ace of Wands, again, it's a very primal, a very sexual, a very passionate beginning with someone. You may actually physically travel to see this person with journey on top of this. This is like the chariot card, like getting in your car and actually going to see this person. And this is the overall energy for the month of October, which is brilliant because this is actually really exciting, especially if you're single, especially if you're looking to have this, you know, passionate new beginning with someone. 
that's going to be very, very energizing for you. Right next to this, you have the Three of Swords. So it's not to say that you haven't been heartbroken recently, Gemini. It's, you know, I'm not trying to, I guess, push things under the rug here because clearly with the Three of Swords, that is heartbreak. But I feel like this is something that's been transforming within you on a heart level for a while. You've been thinking about this. You've been reminiscing about the past for some of you because you have the Six of Cups here. The Six of Cups is your past. This is about people from your past and being in deep thought about who has hurt you before. Um, are they going to be in your life when this Ace of Wands moment happens for you? And for some of you, the answer to that is no. Um, it's kind of like establishing uh, what you've learned from the Three of Swords energy. Now, because this is in the overall energy for some of you, you may find yourselves being disappointed by others in the month of October, but it's going to lead to something new, to something different with the Ace of Wands. There's like this energy for you, Gemini, of really maturing and going through something that is transforming you into a more um like a stable person like something that is um growing you so in your energy you have the queen of swords and you have love on top of this again you're being admired people are seeing you as someone that they could be with people are seeing you as someone that is maturing someone that does have a lot of power inherent within yourself and this is your card. You are the Queen of Swords. You are someone that is cutting people out if they have hurt you before with the Three of Swords here. It's like you're not you're not sticking around to see if someone's going to step up for you because you know you have new opportunities coming towards you. There is a perceived missed opportunity with someone. You have the Four of Cups here in the middle of your timeline. This could happen in the middle of October. But for others of you, this has already happened. Um, but you have falseness clarifying this. So Spirit is saying here, this is only a perceived missed opportunity. I feel like, Gemini, you placed your bets on someone and you were hoping for a different outcome. And Spirit is saying here that that really was not meant for you. It was just kind of a stepping stone into something else that's going to be happening for you later on with your Ace of Wands again. Um, a lot of you are feeling bored. You're feeling like there's no one around that is really um, doing it for you. And I feel like I've, I've said that to you before, but the Four of Cups is like, I'm so bored. No one is like stepping up to the plate for me. I'm not finding anyone. And... I feel like this is just, this needs a perceptive shift because it's not that you've missed out. It's that, in a sense, people have missed out on you. So you need to kind of flip the, the script here. This is obviously someone from your past with the Six of Cups right next to this. This was involving an ending with the Widower on top of this. Now, a lot of you Geminis, you're single. You have the Nine of Coins right here. You're focused on yourself. And you have misfortune clarifying this. Why are you focused on yourself? Because of what you've been through with the Three of Swords, heartbreak, and misfortune. So it's like the people that have disappointed you previously, they really did you a service. They did you a favor. Because now, especially in terms of your stability, your finances, your goals, you are growing. You are prospering. And a lot of you, like I said, you're single. Um but you're still kind of reminiscing here. Now, towards the end of October, it's interesting because you have two tens. That's 10-10. Ten, ten. That's new beginnings, but after endings. So the 10 of coins and the 10 of cups reversed. You have message on top of the 10 of coins. This is Toth. This is Mercury. Towards the end of September, you are going to be financially in a place of power. You're also going to be mending certain family relationships and being kind of the pillar in that family structure. There's going to be communication coming towards you with regards to some kind of payout. 
I feel like there is a lot of money, like a lump sum of money that is surrounding your energy, Gemini, especially again with the Ace of Wands. Um, so I feel like also there's a sacrifice here. You're sacrificing some kind of emotional cord, some kind of emotional hope that you had. In the meantime, as you're sacrificing that aspect of your happiness, you are gaining more financial prosperity and abundance. The Ten of Coins is, of course, a pentacle card. It's about your finances. It's about your family. But the Ten of Cups right next to this being reversed, it's like even though you're going up the ranks or going up the ladder within your own career or your own financial prosperity, there's a payoff. There's a sacrifice. This sacrifice has to do with your emotions. It's about not necessarily getting everything that you needed emotionally. So for example, you may be completely single and being very successful in your career and your business, but because of your sacrifices that you've put yourself first with the Nine of Pentacles, you've been putting your family first with the Ten of Coins, you may have had to cut certain ties with other people that could have been like a romantic getaway or like a romantic uh, commitment and that kind of thing. There's something about this where it's like, it's not emotionally fulfilling to you, but you're still getting the payout from it. You can see things in more of a long-term perspective now. You have constancy on top of this. So Gemini, just be prepared for a lot more money. Be prepared for a lot more success, recognition in your career, which we've been seeing for a while, with some kind of sacrifice having to do with either something that you've left in the past or not necessarily having the deepest uh, connections with people on a heart level this month. But I feel like this is very much a temporary transition period you may want to put focus on yourself now. And I feel like a lot of people are reaching their hand out to you, Gemini, because at the bottom of your deck, and this is because they see you as someone who's becoming more and more successful. So you're going to be receiving a lot more uh, people kind of knocking on your door or trying to get a handout from you with your six of coins reversed here. You're not willing to come to their aid because I feel like they were not there when you needed them. It's almost like the tables are turning for you. Um, and a lot of you have recently come into a lot of money or new property, or you're seeing this in your future. And the people that were not there for you before, three of swords, six of coins reversed, six of cups, four of cups, they're going to start coming back around to you in the hopes of getting what it is that you're starting to receive in your life. Gemini, you're not going to tolerate this. I'm feeling that you're just going to completely shut them out um, because they were not willing to be the family or they were not willing to give you the commitment that you wanted. And now that things are looking up for you, you are going to be putting those boundaries and laying those ground rules to other people. In your energy, again, you're showing up as the queen of swords and you have love on top of you. I feel like a lot of you need to wait. I feel like a lot of you are going to have love in, a, in the form of a new beginning with someone. In the meantime, focus on self-love. You do have a lot of admirers still, but you're remaining very um, direction-oriented with your own goals, your own life and cutting people out and really being diligent about who is surrounding you. You have protectors around you, Gemini, whether it's in spirit or physically, you have people around you that are protecting this new beginning for you. They are protecting who comes around you. In this depiction, she has two Dobermans in front of her and she has a huge sword protecting her castle. This is kind of the energy that you're taking on this month. You may receive visitations or calls from other people, but again, I feel like you're just going to not tolerate or not entertain people that were not there for you when you needed them and all of a sudden now they need you. You also have the Hierophant reversed here. There are certain things about 
either contracts or the idea of traditional value systems. For example, marriage, like the traditional idea of marriage, signing contracts. Um, Be very careful of what you sign. I'm still seeing that as being a red flag around you. There's going to be something where you're removing yourself. You're putting an end to something that was a contractual agreement or this so-called contractual agreement is going to be propelling you into something new because you have death on top of this. A lot of you are going to be transforming your idea of what you want for your life in the form of what you agree to. Now, this is very similar energy to what you've been having. I feel like a lot of you still need to pay attention to the fine print of things. Again, if you're signing actual contracts, because this is reversed, this may symbolize that you're not paying attention to certain um, red flags or the fine print of whatever you're agreeing to in the form of just regular, your you know, your love life. Um, you are going to be slowing things down. You're going to be making people prove themselves to you because you're holding off on commitment now. You are not going to be putting yourself in a position where, for example, if you feel like um, previously you agreed to something and then you backed out of it, you're going to be taking that in heed as kind of a lesson and pumping the brakes on anything that is going to be solid this month. So I feel like even though you have a lot of people that want to get to know you and that do find you to be very, very beautiful or very intelligent, they actually, they're seeing you as someone to be admired, someone that's on like a pedestal. Um, And for that reason, you're kind of uh, pulling back from anything that would be considered a solid commitment or a solid agreement based on what you've had to put to rest or an ending to in the past. There's definitely a level here of reminiscing, looking back, feeling regretful, feeling like you've missed out. But in the meantime, you're gaining some kind of notoriety, some kind of extreme wealth and abundance in your life. I feel like there's an issue here also with family relationships and people expecting you to do more than you signed up for or more than you were willing or able to offer them. People are seeing you as being very strong and you feel like because they're viewing you this way, they're not picking up their slack. They're just putting everything onto you. Now, if you have been in a relationship, I am seeing here there's an ending or some kind of transition within the relationship with the Hierophant being reversed and the Ten of Cups being reversed. This is a clear indication also along with your Three of Swords that you on some level want to be single. You want to be independent because there's been a less than uh, equal give and take in this relationship. Now, I do want to cut the deck for you, Gemini. King of Wands, you feel like there's been controlling people around you. You feel like people have been abusing their power around you. You feel like um, because you haven't gotten what you wanted, you're now having to really, again, put the boundaries down. And the Six of Wands, okay, if you're dealing with a fire sign, you may feel like you're powerless whenever you are dealing with this person. The world, closure and success when it comes to new beginnings. Yep, five of wands. And I feel like you're going to be embarking on some kind of a entirely new life for yourself here. And you've had to fight for this. You've had to fight for your right to experience the abundance that you've worked so hard for. And this is like a new birth for you. She's wearing all white. This is like a rebirth of your innocence or a rebirth into a completely new situation or life for yourself after having gone through the battle, after having gone through people that were not there for you. So Gemini, again, the energy is very reminiscent of the last month where we're still seeing this new life that is taking place for you. 
there's definitely an issue with sacrifice um sacrificing what really makes you happy for your stability in the meantime and i feel like a lot of you are aware of this and that's why you're showing up as the queen of swords someone that is fighting for her stability even if it doesn't make you happy in the meantime because you're seeing that whatever is coming into your life is going to be better than what you've experienced so far so how you're feeling about this person gemini is trust reversed you don't trust this person and i feel like that's why you're moving on um you have the four of pentacles here you're playing like uh what's it what's it called when like the prey plays dead well you're playing dead you're playing um coy you are pretending to ignore this person or you are just taking yourself out of the game altogether um, because you don't trust this person. You're being silent. You're being mysterious. You're pulling back your communication. This person's very interested in what you're doing right now because you've been so quiet. You have gone through a lot with this person, past life relationship. You've gone through a lot of karmic cycles with this person, five of wands reversed. There was competition in the situation. You pulled yourself out of that competition. Whoever was causing you to feel like you had to fight for them, or if there was actual conflict in this connection, you removed yourself. Or the situation is going to be um, transitioned into a situation where you are beating out the competition because of the history that you've had with this person, but there's still a level of not trusting this person. Um, I feel like this person has been a magician. He has the four elements on his table. This person has been watching you for a while. Um, you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to fight for something that is supposed to be yours, no matter how many cycles you've had with this person. And that's how you are feeling. So Gemini, we're going to take a look at how this person is feeling about you over on Patreon for the extended reading. And I do have some oracle cards for you as always. So I will talk to you next month. Bye, Gemini. I feel like you pulled yourself out of a situation where... You may not have been the only competitor for this person's heart, and that's why there's an issue with trust here. So regardless, you took yourself out of this.